Ladies, welcome back. Yeah, that's right. I called you all a bunch of ladies. You know it's true. A bunch of... Just kidding. I love you guys. Um, anyway, what we're doing today is we're sitting here on the uh, 2020... Uh, 2021... Craftsman T2400. And we're replacing the belt. And the uh, Craftsman T2400, he takes this guy right here. We'll get this and show it to you. <clears throat> he takes a ACC0881 if you're buying it at Lowe's. Or this is the actual part number on it that comes on the package. It's the A954502. And that's the belt we're going to use. And what you're going to need for this job is you're just going to need an impact with an angle drive on it. And um, you're going to have to make sure the unit is turned off and not engaged or anything like that. I got the keys still in my So, I mean, it's just a basically a personal preference <clears throat> for safety purposes though we really need to <clears throat> make sure that those those keys are out of there and uh, and how you use the impact and there's probably all sorts of different ways to do it and so what you want to do is you want to take these covers off we want to take these covers off. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to set it aside. Be sure to clean that debris out of there so the belts don't have to fight with that debris. Like I said, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. You guys can see a big old grin over here. And then uh, once I get these covers off, I'll bring you down here with the camera. and show you what we need to do. Now I got the ratchet here too, so when we put this back together, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the, we're gonna be using the ratchet. <coughs> and like I said, you're gonna be doing an eight millimeter. We're taking both these covers off, and then also we're taking the belt guard off up front. And uh, you saw me do that. Now what we do next, let me go ahead and take you guys. Actually, you can still see what we're doing from there. So that's great. So uh, I'm just gonna leave the camera where it's at. You can see what I'm doing. Like I said, you need the thing to, you need the blades to be engaged. If you don't, what happens is there's little brake pads down here. You'll see them. There's brake pads down here. And the way this belt goes is it goes all the way around to the other guy. So we got this over here. We're taking it all the way over to the other guy. All the way over there. We're, I'm looping it on the other one from over here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm lazy. <laughs> and then we come around the back. And there's a picture on these newer decks. You know, the, the deck still has a good picture on it. So um, that's sure handy. And then what happens is once you have the, once you have this, uh, once you have the belt around the back, we're gonna go ahead and take and around the pulley on each side and you're gonna have to maybe do a little jockeying with the lever. Actually, once you get this side on, it looks pretty easy. So we've got that side on. We're gonna do the same thing over here. It just, oh, I got a lot of debris in here. Clean that out. <clears throat> a lot of debris on this mower deck. And there's plenty of uh, room for it to be cleared out. Uh, 
mechanically, you know, from the actual thing. And uh, that works too. So we're gonna go ahead and lock that guy in again. And one of the guards is in the way over here. But that's all right. We might have to mess around with the guard over here a little bit. No big deal. We're gonna get that guy through there. Uh, that guy, <laughs> he's a booger, but you just feed him in there, give it a little, you know, be sure to wear your gloves and you'll be able to feed it in there, no problem. He just went in there real easy. So now, uh, let me go ahead and bring you on down here. Take my hand panties off. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, there's Greta. Greta, get over here. Got to get that dog shut down. Just start barking at the neighbors. They're just trying to relax on a Sunday morning, you know. We don't want the dog yipping at everybody. She's got a bad problem with that. Get over here. Shut your mouth. She's a good dog, though. You tell her not to bark, and she'll stop. And just getting this tripod put back in here. Now, you guys can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, that's just about perfect. So, we've got these. I'm going to show you. This belt is looped around under there. Yeah, all the way around the back to the other side. Looped around it and then back around the belt. And then there's that picture too. See that picture? And then the belt comes out those pulleys and to the front, to the front main engine pulley. And it just loops on around. Now, if you look right here, if you're if you're looking right there, there's that guard again. Watch. I'm just gonna take this belt and I'm gonna kind of force it through that. I just forced it through that guard and it was no problem. So I'm gonna pull this guy snuggy and the tensioner's off, and there you go. This belt is now installed easy as that so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this this guard right here and we're gonna put him on first and the reason why is we don't want this guy to fall off the we don't want him to fall off the motor while we're putzing around with these guards and stuff yeah I said putzing putzing you know what a putz is what's a putz a putz is, you know, I'm not even going to say it. We all know what a putz is. I'm putzing around here, playing with our Johnson. Johnson! There you go. That's it. So, there you go. Now, the, now it's turned on. Started up. No big deal. That's how it goes. And I got that deck all the way down. But if we bring it up like that, you know, that belt will just, it's lined up perfect. This is great. So now what we do is <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and wipe off where these uh, guards go. And then just clean it up as best as you can with your hand. Then it got to be perfect. Make sure there's nothing on the back side of this guard. Set it back in place. And then... My dad would chew my butt if he saw me working without these gloves. Because he's like, son, you can put those bolts in with gloves on. I can hear my dad saying it right now. Any work you do, you can do with gloves on. If astronauts can do it in space, you could do it here on Earth with gloves on. And I already hear my dad say that. Now, <clears throat> this guard is... Uh, bolted on with three bolts. It takes an eight millimeter and what we want to do is start them real good with the ratchet by hand and make sure they're going 
And then <clears throat> once we've got them started really good by hand, we'll come back with the impact and run them down. Easy peasy. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just bring you around to the other side so you can be with me and see it. So here's the other side. And you can see down in there, I'm gonna adjust that for you guys. That way you can see what we're doing. And like I said, while you're in here, get as much of this debris out as you can because it'll build up behind that guard. I actually, <clears throat> let me take that back. There wasn't much under that guard as far as debris went. And uh, part of that is because I clean it out <clears throat> manually. I get it, I'm hard on this thing. I'll tell you what, I run over tree leaves, I'm branches. There's no way I'm ever getting a warranty out of this sucker. If I ever break it real bad, we're just buying a new one because I know that I did it to it. And you can you can put me on the record for that. <laughs> so there we have that down. Like I said, I should have been wearing my hand panties. I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to work with these bolts by hand with my gloves on. Because I can hear my dad already saying, son... If the astronauts can do it in space with little bolts like this, you can do it. And you know what? Darn it, he's right. So we got them started. And uh, impacting them down. And then we come back with a ratchet. Oh, those are already nice and Oh, that's super tight. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, bring the guys back around to this side. And like I said, this is the Craftsman 46-inch uh, T2400 that we're working on. And we're going to run these bolts down, too. Boop, boop. There you go. There we go, nice and tight. Oh, I'm over tightened that one. You don't want to over tighten these because this is just sheet metal, this is stamped pressed sheet metal. So there we have it. Let me go ahead and take my hand panties off here. Show you boys what I was doing here. Boys and girls. And so what we've done is we've run that belt all the way around to the back to the other pulley, around him, around this pulley. The same thing on the other guy, their, their mirror. And then up, and then we put this guard back on first. All right, there you go. So that's it, that's how we replaced the belt. Took about 15 minutes on this uh, T2400. And then again, the uh, belt part number is here. Where is it? Let me see if we can. <laughs> oh, I got it locked. <laughs> oh, now I just covered it up completely. Well, anyway, this uh, T2400, he takes a belt part number. Man, I'm just going to have to get the package and show you guys. He is an L54502. By the Sun Belt. There's going to be a cross reference, you know. You'll be able to find that cross reference number and stuff. And that's it. Leave your questions and comments down below.